Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. As always, apologies in advance for my noisy air conditioner, but it is old AF and that's just the ship I have to live with. First world problems, right? Anywho, this is yet another haul from my amazing friend Lindsay's shop, M and Sprout. Lindsay is just the most beautiful, kind, talented, wonderful human. I just adore her and I love everything she makes. And she came out with a new item the other day. She, she has new items all the time. If I had unlimited funds, believe me, I would own everything she makes because I love each and every item. But she came out with something the other day that spoke to your girl's heart. Now, I'm gonna give you a minute. Who knows what my favorite movie is of all time? Don't cheat. Post it in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna trust you that if you're posting, you're not like cheating in any way because I'm gonna tell you right now, it is Silence of the Lambs. I absolutely love it so much. One of my best friends, Elaine and I went to see it on opening day. I will never forget because it was Valentine's Day in 1991, the year we were seniors in high school. And I always thought it was so funny that that movie came out on Valentine's Day because it's anything but a love story. <laughs> Although, I guess in a weird twisted way, if you think about Hannibal's feelings towards Clarice, but anyway, I don't like to think about that. But anyway, it's my favorite movie in the whole wide world. I love, 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 love it. And I have a Death's Head Moth pin that Lindsay made. And I believe I also have an air freshener with that design. But she came out with Death's Head Moth leggings. Ah! And I also have a skater style skirt of the Death's Head Moth as well. So when I saw those leggings, I was like, girl, yes, you know this is something I must own. And I cut this bag in such a stupid way. I thought I cut it all the way open beforehand. Apparently, evidently, I cut it halfway. So we're just gonna rip it. When I say rip it like that, has anybody watching this movie seen um, the movie Diary of a Mad Black Woman? Oh my God. It was the first time I was introduced to the character of Medea. It's a Tyler Perry movie. And there's this scene where Medea and... Um, I think this girl is her niece or something. She finds out her husband, her husband's just a cheating scumbag and she finds out about the lover or whatever. And there's this whole closet full of clothes once he and his wife split up. I'm spoiling, but it's not a new movie. And there's this whole new closet. Um, it was a closet in the mansion they lived in and it's already filled with this new Hoochie Mama's clothes. And Medea and the heroine of our movie, whose name I can't recall because I haven't watched in a while, go into the, like this massive walk-in closet and all the Hoochie Mama stuff is in there. And Medea's like trying to help her get some satisfaction. So she starts grabbing clothing items and she's like, rip it up, girl, rip it up. And she's like, oh God, I can't do that. And she's like, rip it, rip it. And she starts just going to town on this bitch's clothes. That's what I'm trying to do with my bad hands on this package, but. Anyway, that's beside the point. You know I like to ramble. Okay, I think we've got a big enough opening now. So we are going to feel around for the leggings, which I think are in a plastic bag. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <gasps> I'm peeking at them off camera. Oh my God, they're perfect. This is the exact print of my skirt. I should have gotten my skirt to show you. I order from Lens an extra large with the exception of pajamas. Uh, her PJs I ordered in an, a double XL because she said they tend to be a little more form fitting. But um, like as far as the leggings, I had gotten a pair of her, her leggings in the past and they were an extra large. They were a little bit of a different style. They actually have Pee Wee Herman and Sherry on them. I love them so much. And she said, if the extra large fit you in those, get the extra large again. Um, I said in LuLaRoe just to make it you know, where you guys may understand she wouldn't have, have her products necessarily. Like I said in LuLaRoe, I can get away with, um, what is the normal size, quote unquote normal. I can't remember. I prefer the tall and curvy because it just gives me a little more wiggle room. 
but whatever their standard size is, I can also fit into as well. But anyway, I got these in an extra large. They have this nice wide waist, which I think is going to be really comfortable and nothing that's going to be rolly because the elastic is just right here at the top where my fingers are pinching. This is all just soft, soft, soft fabric. They feel so buttery and so amazing. I am so excited to wear these. Like, I wish my AC was actually effective and I could crank it down to a really low temperature so I could wear them right now but it's too freaking hot in here but I just want to pet them because they're really soft but there is a close-up of the death's head moth design that um, was not necessarily inspired by silence I mean death's head moths are an actual you know creature that exists in the world and existed before the movie it's not like something made up for the movie but to me they always remind me of silence and look at the little moons in there and the, like the starburst patterns and the little crescent moons and the starburst patterns throughout the design. I just love this print. These feel so amazing. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear them. I'm so excited. I'm so glad I bought them. The minute I told my husband that she made them and I showed him the picture on Instagram, he was like, I will just give you money by them. I'm like, no, 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 no. I have not a little bit of money left on an Etsy gift card that I got from one of my other besties. Um, for Christmas and he's like well then use your Etsy gift card and I'm just giving you the cash so he treated me and they were I think I said they were $25 which is money well spent and then because Lindsay's Etsy shop if you spend $35 or more you get free shipping I was like well there's no way in hell I want to just order this and pay shipping because I don't know what shipping costs but if I just pick out another $10 item or a little over $10 item I would get um you know, I would get free shipping. So that's, it, it kind of, the ball went rolling along from there. So anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so I ended up adding more things, but, um, okay. I'm just kind of feeling around, feeling around, feeling around, feeling around for things. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Oh yes. This is something I've been wanting for so long. Oh, and I love that there's washi on here because I can actually use this piece of washi in my junk journal. Look at that cute design. I have some of Lindsay's washi tape and I absolutely love it, but getting more is always a treat. So I'm going to leave the rest of that like that for now. In fact, I might actually just wrap that piece over so that way I can peel it off later. But I've been wanting this pin for ages. I love trick or treat trick or treat excuse me it's not actually or it's r apostrophe or apostrophe r i always forget which but it's trick or treat Na amazing 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 halloween anthology movie my favorite halloween movie and i love horror but um yeah so this is the iconic sam from trick or treat this is Lindsay's interpretation of him and he's so stinking Precious. I'm going to take him out of the plastic so there's not the glare on him, but he's absolutely freaking adorable. I just absolutely love Sam so much. And if you have not seen Trick or Treat, it's really, really good. Like, I definitely think you should watch it. It's an anthology, like I said, but the stories are loosely connected and you'll, you'll see as you watch it how things sort of fall into place. I don't want to give anything away, but it's it's fantastic. It's such a great movie. But look at how cute he is. I can't be still my foolish heart. I love this pin. If my friend Terry sees this pin, she is going to want it for sure because she is obsessed with, uh, with Sam the way I am. And she got me obsessed with Grogu, a.k.a. Baby Yoda. So, yeah. If you see this, Terry go to Emmons Sprout. You must have this pin. I feel like this is something you need to own. It's got to be in your life. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to put it off to the side, put the bubble wrap over, and then we're going to see the rest of these goodies. All right. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Dead Head Moth Socks. Oh my gosh. I am going to be the coolest girl. Like, I can't wait till fall when I can start wearing this. I'm so excited. And legit, I don't care about, like, too much of a print. Like, too much is not in my vocabulary. I legitimately will wear the leggings with the socks underneath the skirt. I have no qualms about doing that because they all match perfectly. And I think that would be a really cute look. 
uh, especially when it gets into colder weather. I, I do wear the skirt by itself, but um, my husband has revealed to me that it tends to blow up. And sometimes he has to like watch me in the back or make sure I don't bend over inappropriately because I bend at the waist and not at the knees. Even sometimes I forget when I'm in a skirt and I don't want to put on a show for anybody. So I would definitely wear all three of these together. I would have no qualms about that at all. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so stoked. This is going to be like the jam for the fall and then to the winter and just all year round. I'm just so excited. Excuse me. All right. And then next up, guys, we have got the trick or treat socks. You guys. OMG. Look how cute these are. This, if again, if you don't know the movie Trick or Treat, this is Sam's lollipop. And it looks just like that with the bite out of it. Oh, my God. I just can't. I just can't. I'm just so excited right now. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I, I'm, I'm just in awe. I, I want it to be fall this very moment. I hate the summer. I truly, truly, I hate the heat. I hate the summer. I'm not going to lie. I kind of hate that the kids are out of school because when I go places that I enjoy, like Dave and Buster's or the movies or on the rare occasions I get to go to like a theme park or something, I don't necessarily want a million kids there. And I love kids. I love kids under the right circumstances and I love them for as long as I want to be around them. But there are so many kids, there, there, there are just people that were never meant to be parents, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not a parent myself, so I probably have absolutely no right to judge. But you guys all know the people that just let their kids run around like little entitled assholes and behave like the world was made just for them and they have, don't have to have any consideration or respect or common courtesy towards anyone else. And those kids I can't stand. So I really like it when it's fall and they're back in school again. But I love sweater weather and I love crunchy leaves and I love pumpkin spice once or twice a year and then I'm over it. I love hot chocolate. I love trick-or-treating and candy and just the whole vibe of fall. So this just makes me so immensely happy. I just can't even put it into words. I'm trying to light everything out really nicely off to the side so we can get a final shot of everything at the end. So don't mind me that just, I'm just kind of showing you my comforter right now. I think I've mentioned this before, but how fucking cute is this comforter? My mom and I found it at Christmas tree shops about a month ago, I think, on clearance for like $14.99. It's queen size and it's just a comforter that came with two pillow shams, but I'm obsessed with it. I mean, come on, space cats. What could be better than that? Oh, yeah, there's rainbows and stars and constellations and crescent moons with little faces. But, yeah. Anywho. All right. And then we have got one more item in here. And I'm so excited. <gasps> okay. Technically, it's one more item because of how it's packaged. But in reality, it is three more items because it is washi tape. We have got... Oh, I got to get these right out of here so I can show you all the prints. Lynn's is just so creative. I mean, look at the packaging that she has now. I remember back in the day when it was just regular envelopes and she didn't have her own packaging designs and she didn't have her own like washi tapes or duct tapes. And now look at her now. I just, I can't. I love this. If there was some way I could cut up this plastic and junk journal it, I would. But I've tried before. I tried it with Pura Vita packaging once, and it just ends up being really lumpy on the page, even with double stick tape. So I don't think I can. So I'm just going to admire it and hold my camera shot on it for a moment because I'm just obsessed with it. But all right, you guys, three rolls of Emin Sprout washi tape. And this one has, can you get this to focus? I don't know why it wants to go out of focus all the time. So we've got the Meowja board. Can you see that? keeps going out of focus and it's really the bane of my existence. I think it's because it's in plastic, but it says, it doesn't say Ouija. It says Meowja, even though it's a Ouija planchette. And then you've got the black cat and the moon and this beautiful crystal and the heart and the crystal ball. And I just love it. And this purple is beautiful, Hallie. I know you're going to be all jonesing over this purple. Then we have this one. 
that is just the beautiful crystals with the little starburst patterns also in purple in black and white crystals and it is gorgeous and then last but never least we have the black one with these hearts in white and purple oh, be still my heart literally be still my white and purple hearts I am so beyond stoked right now okay so we're gonna make this pretty off to this side all right guys I, sh I always set things up vertically when I'm gonna shoot horizontally which is kind of dumb but here we go guys so this is the recap of everything in this haul we have the amazing death's head moth leggings run do not walk to get these because I have a feeling they're gonna sell out really quickly Hopefully they'll be an amazing seller and something she keeps producing. But um, I I know because they're new, like her stuff flies out of the shop. Then we have the, well, okay, we'll do them in the order in which I showed you. We have the amazing Sam pin. We have the gorgeous Death's Head Moth socks. We have the fabulous Trick or Treat socks. And note that they're orange banded at the top, which I love. And then we have the one, two, three incredible rolls of duct tape. So as usual, Lindsay, you have outdone yourself, my friend. I am so obsessed with all of these things. I will promote you off the rooftop, shout your name, like just put you on, on, you know, the most positive blast in the world forever because First of all, you're an amazing human. I just, you know, I love, I love getting to know you. We still haven't gotten to know each other super, super well because Lindsay's got a very busy life, but um, we are friends on Animal Crossing. We haven't played, oh God, I haven't even played Animal Crossing other than like twice in the past two weeks. And I was like an obsessive everyday player, but right now I'm more with my mobile apps. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, which is free to install on your cell phone. And Hello, sweet days. OMG, you guys. It's a Sanrio game. And it has been out for a while now in Japan. And it was only in Japanese until very recently, sometime last month, I believe, that they introduced a North American version in English. And I feel so bad for my friends around the rest of the globe because you cannot get the English version yet. It's only available right now in North America, but I hope it spreads because I want all my friends to play with me. It's so much fun. I get to live in Little Twin Stars Town and you encounter six different characters in your village. There is um, Wish Me Mel, who is like a little rabbit and the post off uh, handles the post office. You've got little twin stars who have a farm where they raise animals and they um, they grow like the animals, you know, make eggs. They lay eggs and the eggs are a valuable commodity in the game. There is Hello Kitty who runs a Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty. What is hers? Um, I think hers is the bakery. My Melody runs a flower shop. Pom Pom Purin runs a coffee shop and Cinema Roll, I think, I want to say also has a pastry shop, which seems weird. I'm probably messing it up, but those are the six characters that you can encounter in the game as of now, but you can get all kinds of goodies that are, you know, based off of dozens of other Sanrio characters and they introduce more content all the time and it is the cutest, most kawaii game in the freaking world and I'm obsessed with it. So if you are interested in joining and playing with me, check me out on my at Persevering Star on Instagram and scroll through my pictures. I did post a picture from the game that has my friend code or just leave a comment down below and I'll post it again and then we could be neighbors and we could visit each other and you can send gifts and ugh, I'm obsessed with it. But anyway, the point I was originally getting to is that Lindsay and I also play Animal Crossing together, but like I said, she has such a busy life. We don't really get a chance to talk talk too often. We'll message each other on Instagram every now and then, but um, I would love to get to know you better, girl, because you are such an amazing, wonderful person. But I'm so excited with this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check out Emin Sprout on Instagram because that is where she posts her new releases and special promotions she has an etsy shop 
the link will be on her Instagram page. Definitely favorite her Etsy shop as well. And again, you will see when new items are released and when she runs promos and stuff. And yeah, you should just totally support her in all ways because she's an amazing human. All right, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. This has been such a fucked up week. I can tell you now because it's the family has been notified. But um, my beloved great aunt Edna, uh, my mother's aunt, my grandmother's late grandmother's sister, passed away on Tuesday morning. And uh, she had cancer. And... I saw her last about six weeks ago and she was so healthy and strong and seemingly fine and it just was such a quick 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 downhill slope and I am crushed I'm still in denial and shock so I am able to talk about it without getting hysterical but eventually when the reality of it all hits me I'm gonna be a hot fucking mess but having things like this, you know, receiving, you know, my, my items from, from Lynn's and, um, I am expecting, I only know because she texted me about it yesterday. I'm expecting a friend mail package from my glorious Billy, who I adore tomorrow and things like that. Going to see fucking Black Widow on Tuesday because we had already bought advanced tickets and I was like, fuck, like that's what I want to do today when I just found out about this but my mother and my husband both were like what are you gonna do just sit home and be miserable and Edna would want you to go see the movie and have a good time so I did and it was good because for a while I could get out of my head and lose myself in the movie and it was actually very very good I would say that and Endgame are my very favorite Avengers universe movies so far that it was fantastic I loved it and Florence Pugh is in it who was so fantastic as Danny in Midsummer. so yeah I love her um but um having having little sparks of joy and moments of happiness in the midst of what's a shit week and going to continue to be a shit week at least through Monday when the funeral takes place um it's just really important to try to grasp hold and hold on really fucking tightly to the things that are good. So promise me this, you guys, okay? I want you to pinky swear, pinky promise that you are going to hug someone today, okay? I don't care if that person is yourself. I don't care if that person is your cat or your dog or a stuffed animal. If you live alone, there's no excuses. You can hug your damn self. Promise me. And tell me in the comments below that you did it. It would make me feel so, so happy in honor and in memory of my glorious Aunt Edna, who is truly was an angel on earth and now an angel wherever we go when we pass on. Promise me that you will hug somebody today, okay? That would make me so immensely happy. All right, I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye.